This is the Chester Williams house. This is one of the oldest surviving homes in Gwinnett County. This house was built in the 1850s. The house was originally two rooms wide and one room deep. This style is referred to as an eye house. The house is, a, is unique because of the beautiful hand-painted folk art found on the exterior and the interior, making it one of the only surviving examples of exterior painted decorations in the state of Georgia, and perhaps the South. The unknown artist was a traveling German painter who created the artwork in exchange for room and board. The house was located on property owned by Sue and Gerald Williams and moved from its original six, site six miles away. By 1900, 35 years after the Civil War, Gwinnett County residents who once picked cotton as slaves were now free workers in a new economic, economic system called sharecropping. But almost everybody black and white was still picking cotton. Cotton was easy and cheap to grow and it required little rainfall through long hot summers. Cotton bales usually fetched the good price that is until the bull weevil arrived. As the bull weevil destroyed cotton farms by the thousands, Scientists realized that even without insect pests, growing cotton was extremely hard on the land, stripping it of nutrients and encouraging erosion. This is a variety of soils from Georgia's major locations. I learned a lot from the Gwinnett Environmental Heritage Center. It has, it has a lot of information about the history of Georgia and the, like, the facts about nature and what's behind everything and the science behind it. I would recommend someone to come here.